All right, what up, y'all? This is Scotty D from Thingalovers.net, and we're here at New Year's Evil. Uh, just a few hours before the show, I'm here with Lex the Hexmaster in person. What up, Lex? What up, what up, what up? It's good to meet you in person, brother. Mm-hmm. So, we spoke for like 35, 40 minutes just a few weeks ago, right. uh, but I wanted to follow up with some things now that we're now that you're live in person. Um, so, for those who hadn't had a chance to check out our previous interview, give it like a brief introduction of yourself. Yo, what's up? It's Lex the Hexmaster, MNE, representing the family, representing New York City, Queens, New York. Y'all already know all that shit, though. That's what's up. So, like I said, it's been just a few weeks since the last time we spoke. What have you been working on since the last time we, last time we did talk? Uh, just recording more shit. I mean, the album is pretty much done, but I'm the type I keep on recording. Yeah. I don't just, you know, do songs just for an album. I'm doing constantly recording, constantly picking up new shit. You know what I'm saying? Constantly creating new styles and new products and all kind of shit like that. So 2016 should be real crazy with a lot of you know, interesting shit coming. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. So, so the album, I know we talked, uh, you said that it was pretty much finished just with a little bit of minor tweaks to do. Is that right. still the case? Yeah, that's still the case. That's okay. still the case, okay. but constantly recording is my thing. Right. Constant new production is my thing. That's what I do. Okay. Uh, so we just, we just saw since uh, since the last time we talked uh, the that, they call that gangster video debut. How do you feel that that, that went over? Well, I think it went good. Yes. I think it came out real good. I mean, it was work. I hate doing videos. That's my part of the game. Everybody oh, has yeah? a part of the game that they hate. I don't like doing videos. Well, tell me why. Doing the same shit over and over again. Uh, we should okay. get this done one time and just get it over with. But <laughs> you know, it, it's work and it comes out. It comes out good at the end of the day. So I don't mind. Yeah, you know what I'm saying a little aggravated. But I don't mind. <laughs> Just the shit. So that was I mean, that wasn't your first. That was your first video with M and E. Right, but, right. But it wasn't your first video. Right. So, not so but it was the same kind of the same process. It's the same. It's the same kind of deal. Only thing is not my video. I can't walk up the fucking set when I get mad. You see what I'm saying? So it's the way you shit. I so you. I had to put up with it. So have you uh, decided on what your next video is going to be for for the, for the new album? Well, my my next my next video. Yeah, your yeah your okay. album's video. Well, that's going that's going to be out tonight. We be performing some new shit tonight. So okay. one, of those, one of those two extra songs besides Bomb on them is going to be the next single. So people will be able to surprised. Okay, so we got like a, just a three song set right. tonight. Okay, right. okay, it's a little introduction to to Juggalo. So, um, so have you been spending more time in Michigan away from home doing? Doing a yeah the album yeah. yeah I mean I love it you know I did most of the album in New York yeah um, at my same old studio at Rush Roach Um but for the for the most for the last couple of weeks couple of months I've been doing the minor tweaks and doing some extra recording shit at the Double Oh hell yeah okay okay good stuff so when we talked you couldn't give us the official name of the album right. is that the case still that's still the case oh come on that's still the case. <laughs> <laughs> okay well you mentioned. I'm just going to throw it out there. You did mention Lex the Hexmaster Cursed is what you... What, 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 is, is that this Cursed the name of the album? Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, okay. no, no, no. Not at all. Not okay, at all. okay. I got you. Um, so can you give us the name of the second single you're putting out yet? Or is that going to be one of the ones performing That's going to be one of the ones that's definitely performing okay. tonight. I'm performing a song called um, Ninjas uh-huh. tonight. And I'm performing another song called The Outside. Oh, hell yeah. So we're going to leave that up for Gamble. One of those two songs is going to be the next single. Okay, okay. I know what it is, but they'll be more surprised when they know, when they see it on the video. Like, oh, shit, I seen them do that live. Yeah, no doubt. Like, a lot of people heard us do the Blaze song live uh-huh. before the video came out. Right. At Twisted. At Twisted, right. So it works out the same kind okay. of way. So I got to get you to tell me, how are you feeling just a few hours before the, basically your debut solo set. Excited. Yeah. Excited. A little nervous. Yeah. Hell yeah. Always nervous. I'm, I'm human. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That's my first official set with these guys. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I smoke a lot of cigarettes. I just don't want to fuck up and fucking lose my breath and have a heart attack or some shit like that. Uh-huh. But other than that, I got my shit down packed. I got my peoples behind me. I got good people meeting me there already who's already showing love. So that's not a problem. I'm not yeah. worried about fucking up or getting booed or no shit like that. Nah, it's nah, just nah. more on my side, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm nervous about performing the best for myself. So, uh, when we last spoke, you said that DMX was your favorite rapper. DMX is one of my favorite oh, okay. rappers. What's your favorite say, next my album? Favorite rapper. Um, Doc and Hell is Hot. Okay, so, okay, of course. All right, so what? What are, what are some of the other projects you have in the making? You said you record a lot. Is, it, is there right. anything? I mean, I'm always recording just for the future. I mean, it's, it's really just my thing. It's how I communicate with myself. You know what I'm saying? I go back and listen to it like, oh, shit, I said that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? So while some people do therapy and all kind of other crazy shit, I record music. You know what I'm saying? So it, it works out better that way. No real projects uh-huh. <laughs> right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have three albums done before 2017. Damn. Of course. Wow. That's okay. how much I record. I can record 
six, seven songs in a week because mm -hmm. I'm constantly writing shit. Now, constantly when you do working on shit, when you do when you do uh, those records like that, mm -hmm. are you are you putting them out for a specific project, or do you just say, "Hey, George," or you know, "Hey, whoever you talk to at M and A, M and E." Um, I want to put these three albums out this year. Or do you release them online, or how do you how do you go about doing that? I, I, I just released the, the music right now. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying. So the, the subject of it comes up. Hey, Lex, it's time for you to work on a new album. All right, check this out. We got fucking sixty songs. <laughs> <laughs> to, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying to choose from because I'm constantly thinking up new shit and I uh -huh. gotta write it down because I fuck around and forget it and you know I'm in the zone sometimes. Sometimes I'm in the zone where I can write two songs, two and a half songs, three songs in a day. And then there's times where I can't write shit. Mm -hmm. So while I got the glow, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it out right there. Cause when the next album come around, I might not got the glow right now. I might mm -hmm. be like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like writing nothing. I ain't got nothing to say. Mm -hmm. So it works out better that way. Okay. So let's talk about the gathering. Okay. Yeah, Twisted always brings their entire roster, of course. Right. So that I'm sure you have a, a spot on, on on the main stage or, or you know something like that at the right. gathering. I'm sure. Will that be your the largest amount of people you've ever performed in front of? Five hundred thousand people. Possibly. Yeah. Is that something that, that makes you nervous or excited or a little bit of both? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But I mean, they know who they came to see. They know what they came to see. They know what to expect, pretty much. So mm -hmm. they're not going to have nobody doing that. It's just on a risk. Like, all right, we're going to have this asshole there and see <laughs> right. how he does and see how they react to him. You know what I'm saying? They know, who they're gonna, they know who's going to entertain the crowd the most. I would hope so. Uh -huh. I would hope they know who's going to entertain the crowd the most to bring them there. Now, if they don't feel like I'm going to entertain the crowd the most, don't have me there just yeah. because I'm MME. You feel what I'm saying? And I get fucking rocks and some shit thrown at me on the stage, you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, in the past, people that, that you know, bands that, that are well-liked have gotten rocks thrown at them. So, whatever, so you know, they're not always nice on the crowd. Who are they well, like, by them? Yeah, yeah. You know, are they, are they real? This is a whole different audience that we're doing. Yeah. You're, not, you're not dealing with mainstream fans who likes the same old bullshit on the radio. They want underground shit. Yeah. If you're doing something totally different, they will definitely fucking protect you. Yeah. Quickly. Is that, is that now is something that big uh, or that big of scale? Is that something you prepare, prepare differently for, or is that you just go out there and, and do it's, it? It's, it's all the same. Yeah, you know? I mean five or five thousand. Yeah, it's all the same. Thing. Okay, okay. So uh, I guess that that's gonna cover it for right now. Uh, this is Scotty D with Figalover.net. You got any last words? Uh, that's it. I'm gonna see y'all later on tonight, man. New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. Happy 2016. Absolutely. Fuck the haters. This is Lex and Scotty D. We're out. Lexa Hex just performed his first full set at New Year's Evil. How'd it go, bro? It went good, man. It went better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah? Um, crowd was good? Crowd participation was good. The fucking initial reaction was good. I loved it. Just a little uh, quick three song set, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah but we'll get. for the first time, I won't give them too much because it's all new stuff. If it was a bunch of stuff that they knew already, then we'll do a longer set. But since it's new stuff, we don't want to just keep hitting them with songs and shit. We got Blaze, Blaze Tours coming up and we'll have a, a longer set, yes, I, I hope. Yes, All right, sir. cool. We'll have some shit out for you by then. That's what's up, hell yeah. All right, well, appreciate the time, bro. All right, bye.